Hi, Dr. Fergus here with Cornerstone Health and Foundational Fitness. Whether you're new to our Foundational Fitness program or have been with us for several years, I want to announce a couple changes for Q4 of 2022. First of all, we're moving our benchmark testing to the first week of December. So this testing we do four times a year typically, just to mark where you're at with full body strength and conditioning. And then we're able to look at that and modify programming for the whole group to make sure everyone's progressing. Well, this last round in Q3, I got a chance to step in and observe all of our classes and look at a lot of our new clients coming in and I've highlighted some areas that we want everybody to improve on. So I'm gonna be changing the programming for September, October, and November to address what I saw initially, and then we'll test these benchmarks out the first week of December. So our new focus for Q4 of 2022 is a few areas that everyone did really well with, which was glute strength, some overhead push movements looked really good. The ability to do sled pushes and carries was excellent, but there were also a few weak areas across the board. Uh, ankle plantar flexion, or the strength rising up onto the balls of the feet, was a limitation, and that feeds into single leg balance and the ability to move quickly in running and jumping activities. Again, plyometric activities like jumping or explosive movements are something that we haven't traditionally trained in our program, but are areas that can help a lot of our clients. So we'll include a little more plyometric in jumping. We, we need to get some better strength in upper extremity push, like push-ups and bench pressing, and pull, like chin-ups, overhead uh, pull-ups, and banded pull-downs. Also, we've had really good upper abdominal strength across the board, but the lower abdominal strength, including pelvic position, has been a challenge for a lot of our clients. So you're gonna see more lower abdominal strengthening. And finally, we're gonna strengthen up the lateral hip. So side to side motions, lateral strength, and the ability to cut back and forth for let's say a soccer athlete, or really in general balance going up and down steps. It's gonna need a lot of lateral hip and pelvis strength. So this new programming is gonna build over the next three months. It's gonna address some of the weaknesses. You'll also see a lot of exercises you're familiar with. And then early December, we'll test benchmarks and go from there. Thanks for staying with us. I'm really excited for this quarter of training.